The flailing Senate campaign of TD Dr. Mehmet Oz is getting really desperate because right now his Democratic opponent, John Fetterman, has essentially trolled Oz into an eight-point polling deficit. Fetterman's campaign is painting Oz, correctly in my view, as an out-of-touch New Jersey millionaire who's done nothing to help actual residents of Pennsylvania and therefore has no business being its senator. And while much of Fetterman's trolling has been relatively genial, at least by the standards of the political campaign, you're from New Jersey, Oz's messaging is getting outright nasty. Just yesterday, he trotted out the age-old soft-on-crime attack Republicans have been using against Democrats since the Nixon administration, tweeting, quote, Samuel Alamo was at a bar in Philly that was the site of a horrific shooting. Alamo was shot and killed. Dennis and Lee Horton were convicted in the murder and are now paid by John Fetterman's campaign. Whoa. Well, I got to say, even for a Republican smear attack, this is shockingly disingenuous. So here's the actual story. According to brothers Dennis and Lee Horton, on Memorial Day 1993, they were out for a joyride when they picked up their friend, a guy named Robert Leaf. What they did not know was that Leaf had just murdered Samuel Alamo and was currently being pursued by the police. They were quickly pulled over and all three men were arrested. Now, the police involved with the case have been accused of using a whole host of problematic tactics during the investigation. Eyewitnesses of the murder changed their story after prosecutors tried to pin the crime on all three of them, the Hortons as well. And the district attorney's case file, which was not made available until 2018, quote, included notes stating Leaf is shooter and a police note indicating Leaf acknowledged his role while seeming to clear the Hortons. The Horton brothers, who are black, refused a plea agreement because they said they didn't want to plead guilty to a crime they did not commit. They were ultimately convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without parole. By all accounts, the Horton brothers were model inmates who steadfastly maintained their innocence. And back in 2019, while John Fetterman was the head of the Pennsylvania Board of Pardons, he fought tirelessly on behalf of the men. And in 2020, the board voted four to nothing to grant them clemency. They served more than 27 years in prison and are now working on behalf of Fetterman's Senate campaign. Fetterman called Oz's smear, quote, sad and desperate, asking of his opponent, quote, does he believe that wrongfully convicted should die in prison? Fetterman made another argument for his candidacy today, contrasting his record with that of Oz, with this ad highlighting the work he did during his tenure as the mayor of Braddock, Pennsylvania. I challenge my opponent, what have you done rolling your sleeves up in your own life to make life better for the people of Pennsylvania? I first met John Fetterman when my son got into trouble. John took him under his wing. He helped him get his GED. John turned Braddock around, and John's turned my son's life around. He was a one-man workforce for the city of Braddock. When there was a fire, a shooting, an accident, John was there to help. If someone needed clothes or food, whatever people needed. John Fetterman helped change my life. He changed Harrisburg, and now he's going to change Washington. It's a pretty good ad. I mean, Fetterman making a case, he's tangibly improved the lives of Pennsylvania residents. Whatever you think of his politics, whatever your beliefs are, the question is, can Mehmet Oz, of all people, really say the same?